Final song. Final song. And it is short and sweet. Short and sweet and beautiful. Good. And and can I mention? It's good. Mark our words. <laughs> it's, ah, Ask any song lovely. consultant, and they said about this song, it's good. It's good. It's, it's good. good. It's but good. they did have some, they had a lot of feedback. <laughs> well, sure. <laughs> As any good consultant better. would. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Make it better. Musical Monday. Musical Monday. You want a piece of this? Business, business, business. Musical Monday. Hello and welcome back to Musical Monday with Zach and Shay at Improv Broadway. I'm Zach. I'm Shay. And we're at Improv, Improv Broadway. Broadway. And joined with us is the businessman himself, Caleb on the keys. Uh-oh. I just want to point out that Caleb isn't wearing a cap or hat this time. Yeah. So if you thought he was bald, you've just been proven wrong. Well, I'll say they've been proven 85% wrong. <laughs> <laughs> On this episode of Rumor Busters. On this episode of Are They Bald or Just Wearing a Hat. <laughs> no, I, your hair looks really good, Caleb. Thanks, looks I appreciate it. Looks and beautiful. Long. And beautiful. And beautiful. <laughs> That is how I'm always described. (laughs) Long and beautiful. Uh, Well, uh, you know what else is long and beautiful? The tradition of business. It. (laughs) There are no other words to describe it other than continuous, having had happened over a long period of time, and stunning. And stunning. Those are the only adjectives you could possibly describe for business. A long-standing tradition in the country we know. But business, everyone says that uh, that uh, lawyers and um, sex workers are the oldest business in the world. Mm. But you know what actually is the oldest business in the world? Business. Business. That's right. Even before them is business. And my favorite holiday is business holiday Monday through Friday, five days a week. I love I that. celebrate religiously. <laughs> I hate going to work every Saturday and Sunday, Labor Day, Christmas, <laughs> Thanksgiving. Ah, oh, that is work for me. I just can't wait to get back to the market and sell, 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 and bye, bye, bye. That's right. I hate Christmas because they make me take off work. What do you want me to do? Sleep in? That's bad for my health. Yeah, I'm so jealous of Santa because he gets to work on Christmas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he works for like 76,000 hours on Christmas Eve or something. Like <laughs> yeah, Gosh. the math does not add up. No way. The time dilation is insane. It's but crazy. luckily, the metrics don't make sense, Santa Claus. Your profit <laughs> margins are crazy. His <laughs> business manager always tells him those things and he's just like, oh, no, 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 yeah. I'll magic it away. Santa Claus could really do some consulting if I'm being. Honest, if I'm being honest, I could really use some consulting. <laughs> That's our impression of all consultants. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just constantly interrupting people. <laughs> well, 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 actually, uh, and we might see those characters here today. Don't mind if I do. In this musical that celebrates all business, 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 the musical. I, uh, absolutely, I mean. And we start. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a little bit of Shay's religion coming in. She she goes to a very specific church. You know the churches where they like shout hallelujah, amen. When they wrap up their conscience, they go, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> It's a consulting church. carry church of Christianity. <laughs> At the end of every prayer, we affirm first we and affirm. then we say amen. Thank you for this meal. We validate, absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Okay, so, and we open up on a musical, very much picture succession. Everyone's wearing gray suits. Yes. That look very itchy and uncomfortable. Itchy, uncomfortable. High rise skyscrapers, yeah. business tables, conference rooms. That's right. For some reason, women are going to the beach. Still in business casual wear. Gosh. We're not sure why. I wish that was more acceptable in society. Women are shamed for wearing business wear at the beach. And for one, I don't like it. I, for one, want business bathing suits. Where are the turtleneck bathing suits with belts and plaid pants? People are fighting (laughs) to free the nipple. I want to free the shoulder pad. <laughs> yeah, what, right. whatever happened to those pleated bikinis? I oh, miss oh, those. Oh, ah, amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we start off, that's the scenery. Yes. And we see a man who is 
working so hard. This takes place in the 90s, by the way. They yes. say that. The pinnacle of business. The pinnacle of business times. <laughs> the 90s times. <laughs> the 90s. Everyone has their car phone. Yeah. Everyone's just got three <laughs> six-piece suits. Oh, my gosh. This is when business really thrived. That's right. And so uh, he's working hard at his law firm slash publishing the office slash... slash uh, bakery slash well, boutique. Okay. But corporate bakery. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Factory. Betty Crocker. Betty Crocker, yes. Betty C- Crockett. Betty Cr- <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and anyways, he's working there. He's working hard. And um, he keeps pressing ignore on His little... business phone. Fax yeah. Fax machine? <laughs> what were you going to say? I was going to say his mother. His mother, who keeps calling into keeps this business phone. Keeps calling him, yes. that's right. Yes, keeps yes, calling yes. him constantly. And he keeps saying, no, 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 he always has an excuse. Work, work, work. And then at the end, he finds out she was trying to call him because... His father got into a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> his father got in a car accident. Yeah. Lost everything but his eyes. <laughs> Uh, for the rest of the musical, it's just a jar with it's two little eyes. And there's some musical numbers. It's pretty fun. But they had to make a hard choice because the doctor said we can keep him on eye support. <laughs> he can see everything that's going on. But that's it. And they made the tough choice to say, yeah. Yeah. They said he will outlive you and he'll see everything. It's real freaky. <sighs> So it's so sad. They bring the jar to, yeah. the, bi- to the business. But this song takes yes. place. Um, well, I'll let you decide. We can either see the song before uh, he finds out what, and, and the ending of the song is him is his mother breaking the terrible news. Oh, yeah. Or we can see after the song when he realizes that he's he's been working so much and he he contrasts like what he what he was doing with um, the the. Intense news that he heard. Yeah, I think I really want to show off the character being a real busybody. I love that. So we see the busybody. The, the The song ends, of course, with the call, this tragic news. Yes. In this classic song, a Busyness Man. I love that. Jordan, we need the reports due today. You got it, boss. <laughs> hey, Jordan, you got those emails sent over? Emails? Oh, yeah, that new technology? <laughs> Electronic mail? I love it! Hey Jordan, you uh-huh. got that AWOL message sent? AWOL message? The precursor to AOL! You got it! Hey Jordan, we need you on a call stat! Here's two Bluetooth phones! More new technology! <laughs> You're revolutionary! <laughs> business, 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 busy man! Business, 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 busy man! Business, 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 busy man. Business, 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 busy man. Got your coffee, sir. It's the fourth one of the day. I want you to be perked up for the business meeting, you say? We're voting on where to lead the company, and I know that you can do and you can lead us to victory. Business, 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 man. Business, business. Business, busy man. Business, business. Business, busy man. You're busy, 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 busy man. What are we gonna do? It's the third quarter and we need to decide how we're gonna spend our financials. We'll have to stay late every single one of us. I love it. And we can't have fun. No, we can't have fun. My son's being born, but forget it, business first. I'm sorry you can't leave, not even for maternity. My son will understand when I give him a trust fund. A trust fund. A trust fund. Business, business, business. Business, business, business man. You know I'm a business, business, business. Business, business man. I'm a business. Reply all, do the deals. What's next? Digital marketing. Hey, 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 hey. Check out this pill. It'll make every part of your body two times bigger. 
What's next? Diversify, diversify, do or die, diversify, 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 do or die, or diversify. Stocks, real estate, marketing, bakeries, landmines, business, business, business. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, this is Business Busy Man Incorporated. Sweetie. Mom. I've been caught. How many times have I told you not to call me at work? I'm a busy man. Sweetie Petey, pumpkin pie. You only call me that when something awful's happened. That's right. We've been in a car accident. Who's we? Me and your father. Oh. That deadbeat piece of trash. Yeah. A truck ran us over. The honeypot truck, you know, for porta potty. <laughs> Well, which is it? Those are two different brands, Mom. He got toxic shock from all the poo-poo. <laughs> but at least he'll, he'll be able to he'll be able to see me become CEO of Business Business Incorporated. That's right. He'll be able to see you S E E O E O. What do you mean by that pun, Mom? Well, his eyes are all that's left. <gasps> Just two kind of hazel Small eyes with sparse lashes. We're putting him on sight support. Yeah, but uh, don't pull the plug, please. Your father wants to see me. Electricity is expensive, Mom. He can still see nude, sweetie. Please. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to take that away from him. Well, I'll, I'll take a little bit of time out of my busy calendar to... Come see him and, well, have him see me. But have him know I'm a busy, busy, busyness man. Click. Rogers! <laughs> oh, my. So glad we saw that part. Oh, my gosh. You know, I work in marketing, but the second you ask me to throw out terms, I'm like... Do I even have a job? Have I even worked here for four years? <laughs> Who knows? It oh is gosh. all imposter syndrome. Oh my gosh, because there are so many initialisms and acronyms are expected you to know. I got embarrassed by a call. I didn't know what CPG was or yeah. PGC. I don't even know the right one and they will laugh at you. They will laugh at you. The and you know who will laugh at you the most in those calls? Who? Consultants. <laughs> that is right. Yes. They, um, because their whole business is fluff. It's just to throw terms at you and throw plans that they don't actually intend of executing themselves. Oh yeah, and so it is it behooves them to con- confuse you. It behooves to confuse. It Absolutely. Be Amen. Amen. Um, and so what happens is our business businessman, he is distracted by his family turmoil, and he does not know how to juggle what's his family life with his business. And so he hires a consultant to help him with some efficiencies so that he's able to run business, business, business a little bit better. Indeed. But what happens with almost every single business call? We've already mentioned one. They interrupt almost every half sentence. (laughs) They throw out a whole bunch of acronyms that make no sense. Yeah. And tell me the emotion of this song. uh, Remind me of the character. Like, what do they want? What's their thing? Mr. Consultant Man comes in high and haughty and all-knowing. He sounds smooth. He sounds suave. He sounds like he knows what he's talking about. But when you dissect what he's saying... It doesn't make any sense at all. And suave is an emotion. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. (laughs) And so there's an emotion of confidence. There's emotion. There's the guy is trying to instill the emotion of like peace. Everything's going to be okay. But in fact, uh, uh, it's not okay. But you don't hear that in the song because the consultant does a real good job trying to make you feel like he's the man. Yeah. In this, uh, in this song, Uh, let me consult your life. I'm about to kick your row as if you don't start turning numbers super fast. I'm about to get your ROI to hearts pump and make it feel Just want to spout my long 
long-term plan that could take, I don't know, a year or so, man, cause they pay me on a monthly basis, so I'm about to slay this, is to take a 50 grand every four weeks, whoa, 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 it doesn't matter if you think that I'm weak, it's all your fault, the execution is so strategy <laughs> and there's a lot of issues sure. with your product oh, okay. now that you're uh-huh. mentioning yeah, it sure. I, I agree 100 percent but okay. I, I, if there's, if there's one thing that i could sure, add there sure. and i don't want to table it, this for later I mean, but I, I, and if there's one thing we could circle back yeah, sure, on sure, is sure. my idea earlier is, is that to, you disagreed with. is that you consult my Bravo. If anyone's been on any consulting call, <laughs> you know what I say. Nailed it 130,000%. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously that call was mostly nonsense. But the one piece that Mr. Businessman took away was how valuable it is to learn how to seduce a man. <laughs> and he realized that was what was missing yeah. from his mom's life. And his life. And his life. That's right. They he both, know. he realized that it's actually a fun bonding thing they could do together is seduce a man together. Together. Yeah. Not, not necessarily like sharing, you no. know, like they're both out in the town. Yeah. They're just being wingmans for wing each other. Wingmans to each other. Yeah. Because what they realize through this process is the one thing that's more important than business, business, business is family, family, family. Family, family, family. Just to be clear so nobody's confused, at this point, the eyes and the mom, <laughs> there was a consensual divorce. <laughs> well, they, they think it's consensual because they would say blink, but he doesn't have eyelids. He doesn't, he doesn't he jostle, you yeah. know? Well, they, yeah, exactly. And they'd say, like, move your iris to the right. Yes. And honestly, he's not in a place to be in a relationship right and again, now. He's going through a lot right he's now. Going through a Let lot. me reiterate there's no brain, just <laughs> eyes. <laughs> That's the only thing they can That's keep alive. That's true. So when the iris moves left or right, it's just happenstance. We, don't. we like to, we leave it up to the audience to choose what they believe. Yeah, but think, I, I'm glad you pointed that out because they do bring the jar with them everywhere. <laughs> It's a, well, it's a conversation starter, you know? Yeah, that's right. It's like, and what's this in your hand? What are you drinking tonight? She's like, my ex-husband. Go. Oh, my God. <laughs> and they'll actually trade it off. And then uh, because the, the son will go, it's like, uh, I, uh, I've i been told I have my father's eyes. And they're really like, yes. <laughs> and he pulls out the jar. So see? Because they always say, prove it. And he <laughs> says, I will. And then he pulls out the jar. And the mother grabs it and goes, go, 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 go. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, Papa. <laughs> Truly morbid. Yeah, they'll say, I'll, I'll have a martini on the eyes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'll have retinas hold the eyes. <laughs> hold the eyes. Um, uh, yeah, so final song. Final song. And it is short and sweet. Short and sweet and beautiful. Good. And, and can I mention, it's good. Mark our words. <laughs> it's, uh, Ask any so song consultant, and they said about this song, it's good. 
It's good. It's, it's good. good. It's but good. they did have some, they had a lot of feedback. <laughs> well, sure. They, they As any good consultant better. would. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Make it better. It's good. Yeah, exactly. So in this song, we have. The son. The son. We have the mom. They're both. Wingman and each wing other. Wingman it up. But really, this song is about him quitting his job. Yeah. He yeah. Qu- quit all his jobs. And oh. his mom is like, hey, maybe there is a healthy work life balance. Yes. No? No. And they discover this through the song because as they're hyping each other up, as she's hyping him up, he realizes that he's so much more than a businessman. And when he's hyping her up, yeah. she realizes she is so much more than a wife to a pair of eyes. <laughs> and a- ex-wife. Ex- <laughs> ex-wife. But pending. She, pending. <laughs> she's <laughs> still... <laughs> she calls herself ex-Mrs. Eyes. Ex- Ex-Mrs. Eyes. <laughs> well, she just did that once. And then she said, this feels wrong. Surely. Yeah. Surely I'm better than this. She is. Yeah, and so they are just, it's so, it's as beautiful and it's uplifting as, um, as, uh, and and I I can't remember if this is the exact song title, so I'm just going to throw it out and see if this makes sense. Okay. Um, But I I believe it was called You Deserve a Promotion in Life. Yeah. I I think that's what it was called, if if memory serves. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, so let's hear this song, You Deserve a Promotion in Life. You don't deserve all the burnout The late nights and the crusty eyes You deserve to work from home And only pretend to do your job Like the rest of us guys You should be clocking in for 40 hours but spend 10 of those scrubbing yourself in the shower you should be taking naps and doing laundry all while getting heck of money that's where the corporate life is at and I think that's what you'd want with your dad Mom for coming to your le- yearly review What top line review is Mama, I love you You've been so much better Year after year You've helped me abate All my doubts and all of my fears Mom, I want you to know That you would be lucky to any guy and you're so much more than a wife to a solid pair of eyes so I know that if you put your mind to it oh mom you can go far I'm so glad you put down away in his crystal jar I think you deserve a promotion in life because you are a strong woman and not just a wife You deserve a promotion in life Now it's time to see the world through your own eyes I wish I could get a promotion in life But the glass ceiling makes me ask why is my son mansplaining what I'm worth Mama, I've been a victim of the corporate culture I'm sorry I came in here like a vulture You're so much better than me We deserve a promotion We deserve a promotion 
person in love. I deserve a promotion in love. I deserve to promote myself to a feminist. I deserve to not be an elitist. To see you for the strong woman that you are. You deserve to have a family and kids without living with regret and getting turned into a shaggy dog. Thank goodness that hasn't happened yet. Thank goodness that I voted the Tim Allen curse. Tim Allen curse. Because my business trajectory for me could have made it worse. I could have been in a stark business rage, gone an alternate timeline like Nick Cage. You would have had to be a shaggy little pup learning how to love for the first time. For the first time. But it's not too late. It's not too late. For you to get. He started working for his mom ever since that day. That's right. And you know what? Moral of the story, more women should be in charge. So true. I am so. I mean, men have had their chance. And if your husband becomes nothing but um, a pair of eyes with no brain, maybe consider letting him go. Take it for the silver <laughs> lining that it is. Yeah. As his eyes can no longer not be opened, open your own eyes to the yeah. possibilities of what you can do. Yeah, I would argue that uh, there's a good majority of husbands that are just eyes. Mm-hmm. Really? No brains. Mm-hmm. Eyes. Mm-hmm. That's true. Eyes just walking around. Looking through husband's eyes. Have you seen the life through Daddy's grill, grilling on the weekend? <laughs> Have you seen him mow the lawn without cutting a blade? Have you seen him crash on the couch for Super Bowl Sunday? Have you seen him mistreat Mother? Oh, it's such a shame. Look at through life. Look, Look at through life. life. And that's a small teaser from <laughs> from a musical, Husband. The Prince of Dadget. The Prince of Dadget, a terrible parody, but terrible parody, kind of but fun. so fun. Maybe we'll do it one yeah. day. Who knows? We could we could do that one, or we could do any of the musicals that you that no one's ever heard of that you would like us to see. Drop us a comment below. Let us know a musical that's never been reviewed before, and we're happy to review it on the show. But what's even happier is that you even want to watch this in the first place. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope that you like and subscribe. Follow us on socials. You can follow at the Improv Girl on TikTok or at the Improv Keys on Instagram. Yes. We're all doing all sorts of fun, different stuff. You can go check it out there. Follow Caleb so he'll post more and yes. we can all steal his genius. Caleb needs that sweet validation so he'll actually do incredible stuff because the stuff he's done is amazing but he needs a little bit of a pick me up for him to get that sweet serotonin release from sweet sweet validation you know what to do musical mundanes and dudes <laughs> but you also know what to do right now is make sure that you tune in not just on a friday business day or holiday but you tune in with us here every single Monday. Mama, I'll pay you twenty thousand dollars if you give me that dude you just booked. What? They're both going after guys. Remember? <laughs> <laughs>